How to create an ebook selling website with WordPress. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an ebook selling website with WordPress, similar to this one that I have like an example. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. In this case, we're going to work also with WooCommerce because we have the option to edit our products. If you just try to make this with WordPress, this is going, not going to be available, the product. So that's why I'm working with WooCommerce and WooCommerce works with WordPress. So it's like a great combination. So don't forget that you can find the WooCommerce and WordPress signup links and website links in the description of this video. So this video is just going to be short and I'm not going to be able to show you the entire process because just look at it. This has just in this page around, I don't know, like 20, 24 books and a lot of pages around 108. That's a lot. So I'm not going to be able to make this in just this video, but I really recommend you to begin with the addition of your products. I'm going to go into all my products. And as you can see, I just have four and two of these are default like items so i'm gonna show you the process like harry potter 3 so i got into one of these default products so i'm going to change the description i'm just gonna read write book the title is gonna be harry potter 3 and also here in the product chart description i don't know great book Awesome. This is on you. Basically, you must to look for the description and these data that you must to add. Okay. Here you have also the product image. So I'm going to remove my product image and select a different one. I'm going to select the same one that I've used into my other items and the category. So this category is going to be magic, fantasy, this is an ebook, you can add a new category if you want. And this is going to be really important because in this website, for instance, if you have a filter and the language and, and Spanish, perhaps, so you must add a new category who says Spanish and you must add it. That's important. And tax to Spanish. So, okay. And whatever you think it could be useful brands too so for instance the brand of let me show you in english of this let's suppose it's pat shorris okay that's the illustrator but it doesn't matter just write pat and you can select and add new one if you need it this is really important because of the filters in the future and that's it. By now, I'm going just to update my product, Harry Potter 3. And if I go back into product and all products, by now, let's suppose I have three books. Oh, an important part here into your product. I forgot. Here in the product data, we have three options on top of it. So this is a virtual product. Or this is a downloadable product. In the case of the ebooks, it's a downloadable product. So the downloadable file, if you want to add a URL, so you must contact with your provider of your books and paste the URL here. Or perhaps if it's your own book or you select and manage these books, you can choose your file. You can upload the file. By now, I'm going just to select the GPAG file, okay? And add the file. You can add some more if you want. Download limit if you leave blank for unlimited read and load. So let's suppose just it's going to be available for one download and the download expiry if you want to and some other data that you can fill in if you want and the price, obviously. I'm going to make it by 50 and this is going to be 15, sorry, an update. Okay. 
Let's suppose that you have created a hundred or a thousand products as you are looking here. Now, how we're going to make our website, we must go into appearance and themes and there we're going to select the word store. This is going to help us. There are some themes that are from the community, but for if you want to use that, you must to obtain the the plan on WooCommerce and by now I just have the free trial. So there are some themes that are free. So by now I'm going to select this one. You can click on the three dots and activate the demo site so you can check how it's going to look your website. This is a simple website and you can activate these two. So because I have installed a theme previously, I understand that this layout will replace my existing homepage, so no worries. And now I'm going to customize this design. In these minutes that I have left in the video, I'm going to show you how to imitate the pages. So let's suppose we have some navigation bar. So that's the first thing that we're going to look for. The navigation bar is going to be according of the pages that you have. So here in my pages, I have created books, home. This is a default that I have created in a bad way and some other pages. So you can create a new one. You can also go into one of your books and you can delete it. By now, I'm going to delete all my pages and I'm going to skip the video. Okay, I just erased most of the pages. I did that because I just wanted to show you. Uh, they suggest you some frequently pages like contact us or the, I don't know, catalogs, okay? But if you want to create one, I recommend you to do it from the navigation bar. So from the navigation header, like this one, so there we have the option to create a new one. So this is going to be named Harry Potter. Okay. And create draft page Harry Potter. That's what we're going to do. And now we're going to make click in the pencil to, oh, sorry, that's not it. Go back, go back, go back. And in pages, now we have our Harry Potter page. So this is just a draft. You can upload an image here. I'm going to upload the same image as always. Obviously the format of this image must be horizontal and so on. And in WordPress, if you want to create like a new entry, make click on the add button in the plus button and I'm going to write product. There we're gonna find a great variety of options for products. For instance, if you want to ju just to show a single product, make click in single product, I'm going to select my book, Harry Potter 3, or you can use the search bar for that if you have a thousand books and click on done, and this is it. Or also, I want to create an entry products by category. Okay, so my categories, all my books that are into fantasy or Spanish, for instance. So if I create that, that's going to be. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Looking for product and showing your products. So that's why it's important to create tags and categories and some other options because this is going to be really useful. Also, here in this part, apart from the navigation bar, we have the option to divide our page into two different columns. So that's an option that you're going to find too into your WordPress. Just write column. And for instance, the division here is like 3366. It's similar to this one. So let's select this part and in this part are some filters so I can filter these by stock or by attribute or 
yeah, whatever you need. And in this part are the products, the books that you're going to be showing, okay? And that's it. Basically, that's how you can create it and continue making your ebook selling store. As I told you at the beginning of this video, this is not going to complete this entire website because this is going to cost me like 10 or more video tutorials. But by now you have the idea how to do it and how to try to combine and try different options here into your WordPress. Also, I recommend you to go back into your... I'm going to leave this by now. I'm not going to save and to configure your payment methods. Usually this works with Stripe, WordPress, but WooCommerce, I think this has the like a unique platform, WooPayments, and you can finish this, but be careful because WooPayments only is gonna be useful with these countries, okay? So if you're not in one of these countries, you must to check some other options. Okay, that's it. That's how you can create an ebook selling store with WordPress and in this case with WooCommerce too. Thanks for watching.